Hi friends, welcome to Devrat Knowledge Villa. You are watching our English video series of operating system and learning disk scheduling. Today's our topic is C scan scheduling. Before today, we have discussed scan scheduling. So guys, if you are still remain to watch our video of scan scheduling, so please click over here into the top right corner i button and please watch the video of scan scheduling. What we have discussed in terms of scan scheduling? In terms of scan scheduling, we have discussed like that whenever head is moving upwards so at that time head is going to satisfy all the requests uh, which are available in between the path and same thing head is moving up to the end of the track and coming back towards the return direction and again whenever head is moving in the return direction so head is going to satisfy all the requests which are arriving in path so there is one limitation one thing is long waiting time for the fixation so for this nodes there is a long waiting time because head is reaching uh, while satisfying the request it means head is not reaching without reading and writing head is reaching while the process of reading and writing so that is one limitation as well as there is unnecessary move till the end point so actually a last request was 184 but had moved till the uh, till the 199 so that is unnecessary move from 184 to 199 and again 199 to 184 so there is need to reduce this unnecessary moves as well as uh, there is need to overcome the long waiting time of this node as well as there is one little bit mistake there was a total 3146 times actually it was a mistake in calculation so consider there was a total 329 sick time for the earlier video of scan scheduling i have also commented in comment box on the on that video so please correct it let go ahead for the c scan scheduling what is the logic behind this c scan scheduling uh, if again if you will uh, see the examples of cleaning staff those are cleaning the platform so whenever uh, the guy is going to start the cleaning from one end to another end and again coming back from uh, that end to actual original end so what is happening suppose this guy is starting to uh, clean from this end from uh, this uh, left to right direction and guy is going to clean the entire platform and whenever guy is coming back while cleaning the platform so actually this uh, this portion is already cleaned before a moment just before a moment and if uh, the guy is come uh, start cleaning from uh, that end into the reverse direction so this portion is already cleaned whereas this portion was actually cleaned before a long time so here there is a more garbage and the, here there is a less garbage and actually uh, that person is going to clean the less garbage portion and when that person will reach up to this end so there is a too much garbage so this means uh, there is a too long waiting time for this reason same thing is happening to all the uh, escalators into the uh, any type of shopping mall look like uh, what is the uh, logic over here uh, escalators are available to go up direction only uh, those peoples are coming back into the reverse direction or coming down they have to use the staircase it means uh, these escalators are working into the single direction for going upwards only escalators are here not working to coming downwards why because when we have a, uh, a limited uh, resources over here if we have a two escalators only so we can use it for the upwards only and remaining people can use the staircase to coming back so more people can get the benefit of escalators so same logic over here let's see what is happening into the c scan scheduling let's start with the our common example actual our original data was 99 184 38 123 15 125 66 and 68 and we have to start from 54 actual our head position is at 54 current position and head is moving upward so our head will go upward direction so whatever the request are available in between the 54 to 199 so head will satisfy all the request in bit in between 54 to 199 so head is moving upward let's see how head is moving head is going to upward direction and uh, again 
uh, what is happening into the uh, scan scheduling so in terms of scan scheduling head is coming back or coming return from 199 and again satisfying the all the request so there is a little bit difference head is not satisfying any type of request over here into the reverse direction head is coming back into the original head without satisfying any request it means head is coming back without reading and writing and again head will start reading and writing from this end so again head will satisfy remaining request of 15 and 38 so there is a little bit difference let what is, uh, what is the difference we will discuss in terms of advantage and limitation uh, let's start the calculation of seek time so if you will calculate the total seek time so you will get total 382 seek time get it if you are still uh, remain to watch how to calculate the seek time so you can watch our first video of uh, algorithm first come first serve so you will be able to know how to calculate this entire seek time let's start uh, discussing the advantages what is the advantage first advantage there is uniform waiting time and as well as better response time it means in terms of scan scheduling when head is moving with the activities of reading and writing and if head will reach 38 and then after reaching 15 so it will take a more time why because head is coming back with the activities of reading and writing look like the guy is cleaning the platform from one end to another end and then coming back at that end to the original end by cleaning the entire platform so it will take more time if that guy is coming back without cleaning by taking instruments on their hand and coming this end so it will a uh, little bit faster as compared to uh, previous one same thing whenever head is moving back without doing reading and writing procedure so head will quickly move to this end and then after quickly satisfy the request of 15 and 38 so we can say that there is a uniform waiting time and there is a better response time for uh, whatever the request are available at this end uh, let discuss the limitation what actual the limitation is limitation is more sick moves as compared to scan if uh, uh, we have compared to the sick time so there is uh, more sick time in terms of scan scheduling there was 329 total sick time here there is a 382 get it so it is a uh, one move from 199 to 0 so this sick time 199 sick time is overhead here so actually seek time is going to increase but it is faster than scan get it uh, we are uh, wasting a total 199 seek time but it is a very quick seek time it means head is moving very much faster as compared to scan one thing that is remain to overcome that is overhead of uh, uh, it means uh, some uh, actual overhead from 184 to 199 and 199 to 184 because we are wasting some seek times here into the scan as well as in terms of C scan so still it is remain to overcome this limitation uh, we will overcome this limitation into the look scheduling so please wait for the video of look scheduling if you are still remain to watch our uh, if you are still remain to subscribe our channel so please subscribe and thanks for watching Devrat Knowledge Villa